I'm at Gusman Honda in Appleton, looking at what they have on the lot. Um, you kind of see there is definitely some empty space, but uh, they have well, more than uh, the Toyota lots have. Uh, pretty much everybody has a uh, oversupply of uh, mid-size SUVs. So Honda, definitely known for their uh, CRV, HRV. Um, I, I I think the uh, HRV is a really good buy right now. I like the new style. Um, I'd seen uh, Doug DeMero's review of it, showing the uh, I think it was him that did it, showing how much room in the back seat, because that was the problem with a lot of them is you just couldn't fit in there. But I mean, uh, 2025 window sticker, basically a 30 grand. Uh, a relatively short, maneuverable, I mean, decent mileage, not great. I think this could uh, definitely do with the hybrid. I think that's actually their big uh, downfall with the uh, HRV is the lack of a hybrid. Uh, the Civic, I understand, is doing much better this year. I think it's because the uh, Civic price point compared to the Accord, you're just not getting that much more for the Accord. So when you go to shop, you end up with a Civic if you're comparing apples to apples. In the Civic, I really like the uh, hatchback. Anytime you can uh, get a little more in there, it can be a little more useful. 35 miles to gallon, less than 30 grand. I mean, the Civic is really nice. Front end isn't that much different. At one time, the Civic was definitely the uh, smaller little uh, Econo box. That just doesn't seem to be the case. They've gotten bigger and bigger. I do believe the Civic is now bigger than what the Accord once was. On the Pilot, definitely has a nice look to it. Got the Trail Sport. I guess I've always liked Hondas. I've had a Honda four-wheeler for uh, decades at this point. 20 miles to the gallon. The Honda four-wheeler has been just very impressive. The Honda is definitely uh, reliable, durable, good resale value. Similar to Toyota in many ways. To me, the Honda is also often what you get if you just don't want a Toyota because all your friends have a Toyota. You're going to be just a little bit different. You can find something in a Honda if you want to spend a little more, something in Acura. But look across that front row. But if you know what you're looking for, uh, you can tell the uh, Civics from the Accords, but there's not a lot of difference. They're the same as the other manufacturers. They're trying to push the uh, more expensive vehicles. Light grays and dark grays. I like the uh, black leather with the uh, orange stitching. That's sharp. 37 miles to the gallon in the hybrid. 40 grand compared to some of the luxury models ah, the, the Honda makes more sense your resale is going to be better your reliability is going to be better and maybe you're just embarrassed to be seen somewhere with a Honda I'm not sure although I'm not sure what kind of friends you have if you're embarrassed to be seen with a certain kind of car of an other all right uh, Honda Ridgeline this is kind of a vehicle in its own class. We made the Santa Fe is similar, but it's just not, uh, I mean, pickup people won't call it a pickup. A lot of people will call it a pickup, but looks like 40,000, 42,500. I can't even see that. 21 miles to the gallon. That's the, uh, that must be the sports. Yeah, the sports, the sports got the cloth. This is the Trail Sport, so their version of off-road, which is probably just meteor tires. I mean, I don't think I would plan to take this thing off-roading. I mean, it'd be nice to have the four-wheel drive and be able to pull a trailer. I thought these guys could pull 5,000 pounds so they can pull a little bit of a trailer. I mean, for most people, this is all the truck you need. You don't need a big truck. Although it's not that much cheaper than a big truck, so sometimes you buy what uh, makes sense to buy price-wise. All right, let's wander down by the uh, used ones to see what they have. See if there's anything uh, that stands out. 
I, I really like these Accords. I've got a 2008 Accord that I still drive. Only reason I'd get rid of it is because everybody asks me when I'm going to get rid of that thing. But I've never had a problem with it. It's got well over 100,000 miles. Owes you nothing, basically. Oh, I see pilots. I'm not sure if I see pilots and passports. I almost got to look close to know which ones are pilots and which ones are passports. Oh, these are all sold. These all have names in them. Why haven't they delivered them? Also just came in. Look at all of them that are sold sitting here waiting to be delivered. That is crazy. So they definitely have the uh, list kind of like uh, Toyota does where uh, the cars are coming and sold. And the Hondas, uh, a lot of times you're not getting that much off the uh, fly used. So whenever you're looking at used cars, make sure you compare to new, just to make sure. Honda's definitely a, a good option, good choice. I've never had trouble. I mean, I'm sure there is uh, some problems they run into. And they, uh, Honda doesn't cover everything. Although, I mean, your, your basic SUV family car, I mean, the CRV is highly sought after. Um, the Cord is a good sedan. And then you've got your in-between vehicles and your smaller vehicles. Um, pilot with a large SUV, which actually has got some decent space in it. And then you got the ridge line, so relatively full line of vehicles. And that's what we got for uh, Gusman Honda in Appleton.